Good evening, and thanks for tuning in to our 11 o'clock news broadcast. I'm Janice Kaplan. Up next, more about Thursday's North Haven slaying that still is unresolved. Our reporter, Miles Baker, is on the scene to tell us about this tragedy. Miles? Yes, thanks, Janice. The details of the murder of 36-year-old Todd Burton here in North Haven on Thursday night are still developing as we speak. Todd's wife, 34-year-old Marsha Burton, says that Todd was shot and killed by an armed home intruder who escaped and is currently at large. The intruder is described by Marsha as a tall man wearing a black hooded jacket and possibly having a beard. It is unclear whether there was a struggle before the shots were fired. Also, the motive for the break-in is currently unclear. One eyewitness reports an old red pickup truck leaving the area immediately after shots were fired. Hard Authorities to have begun a countywide search for the vehicle and for the suspect, but have not yet located anything. Marsha is understandable. <sighs> Long day at work. And at this time, yeah, I can get that. You know, you sit at home all day, you really clean up every now and then. Don't start this. Not now. Not now? I'll be on maternity leave soon. Then what? What are we going to do? Shelly, you know that I am doing everything I can to try to find work right now. I've looked everywhere and I want to design a house. I can't when nobody wants to buy fucking houses. You know, Henry, that excuse would have worked a year ago. We have a lot more at stake now. I'm pretty scared. So whoever did this is still out there. Clearly. This neighborhood is stunned by the tragic loss of Mr. Burton. And people seem terrified at the possibility that this killer could strike again at any time. But local law enforcement is doing everything they can to catch the perpetrator of this crime. And forensic teams are combing the Burton's home for evidence. But meanwhile, authorities urge locals to take all necessary precautions to protect themselves and their families. For Channel 9, KCTA News, I'm Miles Baker. Back to you, Janice. Oh good, you're home. I was getting worried. Thought you fixed that lock last week. There, it's fixed. You design houses, but you can't fix a door? What the hell is that? Just a precaution. No. No, Henry, we discussed this. Have you even seen the news? We don't have a choice anymore. So now you're going behind my back? We're bringing a child into this house, Henry. A child. Have you, are you out of your goddamn mind? Shelly, I'm doing this for him. 
I'm doing it for you and I'm doing it for our family. So now you're the family man. Now you're the protector? Slaying of Todd Burton, and his killer is still on the loose. Miles Baker is in the field to tell us more about this developing story. Miles? Thanks, Janet. It has been three days since the slaying of Todd Burton, and local authorities are still on the hunt for the murderer. The suspect's vehicle has been described as an old red pickup with unknown license plate numbers, and it's not yet been located. Police urge everyone in Lode County to be on the lookout for any vehicles matching this description. The only description of the suspect was given as a tall male wearing a black hooded jacket, possibly with a beard. Meanwhile, the community of North Haven mourns the loss of Todd Burton. Todd was 36 years old at the time of his death. He has been described as a kind-hearted man who loved his wife, Marcia, deeply. They had been hoping to start a family. Neighbors say that Burton was very generous, caring, and trusting. In light of this tragedy, it seems that more civilians here are turning to firearms to protect themselves. The authorities urge all civilians with guns to practice proper safety, to act responsibly, and to keep their guns out of the reach of children at all times. Furthermore, the local sheriff states that if anyone senses anything out of the ordinary in their own home or in the neighborhood, to dial 911 immediately.
We have a storm front that continues to move in from the northwest. It'll be cloud cover all day with a 75% chance of precipitation, so try to stay dry, folks. Well, thanks for that update, Mary. And for you early risers, it's 5.50 a.m. In breaking news, the search for the North Haven killer may finally be over. Our own Miles Baker is in the field, and we're going to be going to him right now to find out more. Miles? Thanks, Janice. Yes, the residents of North Haven and the surrounding areas can find some solace finally tonight. The chief suspect in the Todd Burton murder was himself killed late last night. The suspect was shot while breaking into a home in Reddington, uh, just 15 minutes north of the original crime scene. Authorities say that the intruder, an unidentified white male with long hair and a beard, was seen driving the red pickup truck that was spotted outside of Todd Burton's home last Thursday. The suspect broke into the home of Michael Kennedy, a 37-year-old father of two. Kennedy woke up during the intrusion and used his personal firearm to shoot and kill the intruder. He says he was lucky he had a gun to protect himself. Shortly after going to bed, I heard a glass break, like a, a window break. I grabbed my gun and I uh, just I went in the hallway and there was a man standing right outside my kid's door. And I uh, yelled, hey! And he turned, and I saw a gun in his hand, and I pulled the trigger. And I already lost my wife to a violent crime. I can imagine losing my kids, too. The county sheriff, Dale Brecker, calls Mr. Kennedy a hero. And he says, quote, 
Because of him, residents of our county can rest easier tonight. For KCTA Channel 9, I'm Miles Baker. Janice, back to you.